Hello, fellow Western Governors University graduates. Congratulations, great job. We've made it. Be proud of yourselves. To the family, friends, and WGU staff who have helped us, thank you for everything. You've given us gifts you cannot imagine. And you may not know they exist, but they do. I'd like to talk to you about one gift and leave you with one challenge. The gift I would like to talk about is the gift of being yourself. This is something that I believe WGU embodies more thoroughly than any organization I've encountered. And for me, it was life-changing. You see, something about me is that I'm autistic. This is something that heavily shapes the way I interact with the world. Now, in my case, I was diagnosed later in life. I was in my late 20s when I found out. Life had always been different, it had always been challenging, and I'd never understood why. Finding this out helped me make sense of it. You see, I tried multiple colleges, different programs, and every single time I'd get sick, and I'd have health issues, and I'd get panic attacks, and eventually I developed agoraphobia and could barely leave the house. I'd always have to drop out. I just felt lost. Something you may not know about people with autism is that employment outcomes are pretty terrible. Society is not made to be adaptable, and so 50 to 60% of autistic people in their late 20s have never held a job. And the underemployment and unemployment continues from there in brutal ways. For me, that statistic was close to reality. So not only was I not succeeding in school, but I was passed over constantly for jobs and finding myself stuck at minimum wage. I was struggling to pay back the student debt I already had, and I just felt lost and hopeless. When I found out I was autistic, I evaluated what I needed. What I needed was a school that would let me learn the way I needed to learn, with the materials I needed to use, at the times I learned best. I needed a school where I could take a break if I needed, and do work in ways that made sense to me. So basically, it didn't exist. That's a big ask from a school, or at least that's how it seemed. I didn't think it was possible until I found WGU. At first, I was suspicious, as I'm sure many of you probably were, <laughs> because it seemed too good to be true. But then I enrolled, and it turned out it was true. It was an institution built around adaptability, built around doing things the way you need to, around helping you thrive. It's a school built upon showing your ability to learn, not your ability to be busy. And that was something that completely changed my life. Within eight months of starting my degree, I went from struggling to have consistent work to working full-time as a software developer using the things I'd learned. The energy and confidence that finally succeeding gave me drove me to look for other organizations that maybe might feel the same way. This is when I found the autism hiring program at Microsoft which gave me hope and something to drive towards. And I worked towards that while I was working on my degree. I ended up finishing my degree in just under two years, way less than I thought was possible. And less than a day after I finished my degree, I accepted an offer from Microsoft through the Autism Hiring Program, uh, which has now become the Neurodiversity Hiring Program. So in the span of two years, my life changed completely. I went from feeling hopeless and feeling like I was stuck and trapped and would never go anywhere to feeling like everything was possible. I finally had a job where I felt like I was co uh, contributing to the world and doing something exciting. And most importantly to me, for the first time, I felt safe and secure. And this was all possible because of WGU. This was all possible because they believe in letting people be themselves, in giving you the chance to show your abilities when everyone else would give up. In fact, it hasn't just changed my life. I am very proud to say that I'm actually here today graduating alongside my wife, who, seeing how much it changed my life, decided to pursue the path herself, and has now also graduated. <laughs> and has now also graduated with her computer science degree and joined Microsoft through the Neurodiversity Hiring Program. So while it might not be a course on our transcript, I can guarantee we are all graduating with something that no other graduating class in America has. We're graduating from a school that has created a living, 
breathing model for how an organization can support people wherever they are and empowers people to achieve their dreams on their terms. The challenge I give you going forward is to carry this experience with you. Take what you have experienced and seen and absorbed from WGU and see how it can influence the way you interact with others and the way you interact with the world. See if you can help the organizations you are involved in adopt similar philosophies. While there are changes happening in programs that now exist in specific areas, for example, the Neurodiversity Employer Roundtable, which is a group of companies that have all started to adapt their hiring and organizational practices to be more accessible to neurodiverse individuals, there's so much work left to be done. So many people still left behind by a world that is blind to their talents. And we, as graduates of Western Governors University, are uniquely skilled and prepared to understand how these changes can be implemented and how they can be possible. So celebrate today. Be proud of what you have achieved, but I challenge you to take what you have learned, to bring it forward, and to help others, help give others the same opportunity that you've received, to help others show their hidden talents, and to help make wonderful things happen around the world because we've all seen that it's possible. We've all seen that we can do it. Thank you for your time and congratulations on this wonderful day.